Hi, I'm Bill Lenders. During the summer of 2014, I used Reflectance Transformation Imaging, RTI, to capture dry point glosses in the 8th century St. Chad Gospels. Dry point glosses are notoriously difficult to see, let alone capture. Etched with a stylus but no ink, they are meant to go unnoticed. Not only did RTI capture these glosses, but it also clarified letters and revealed others that had gone undetected. RTI requires a series of photographs taken with varying directional lighting. Its software combines these photographs into a composite file that, when viewed, allows control over the lighting and mathematical enhancements to produce a hyperview of surface details. For example, on page 221, scholars report the first gloss as capital D, capital U, capital L, capital F. However, viewed through RTI, the first letter, instead of a D, is an Anglo-Saxon win, that is, a contemporary W. This letter and the remainder of the gloss are readily observed in the normal RTI view by changing the direction of lighting. However, RTI also reveals additional letters, letters squeezed into the narrowing space that ends with the strand of interlace. In switching to a specular enhanced view, mathematically rendered to increase areas of brightness, these letters appear as either capital U capital H or capital U capital N, depending on the direction of lighting. Their likely reading is UN, completing the name Wolfen. This U and N demonstrate the value of RTI for dry point glosses. It not only reveals them, but it provides different views for scholars to discern or interpret letters. When directional lighting runs parallel to an etched line, that line disappears, as demonstrated by the N's diagonal stroke. Previously unnoticed dry point glosses occur above and below the back legs of a beast. Above its back legs, the letters likely read Anglo-Saxon win, capital U, capital L, capital F, capital M, AE ligature, capital R. Below the back legs, the letters are much more difficult to discern and could possibly be two lines. Two previously observed dry point glosses in the middle of the page are readily visible with a specular enhanced view confirming what scholars have reported. The first gloss contains a scratch shaped like a seven, then a cross, then capital B, capital E, capital A, H, T. The next gloss reads capital E, capital L, capital F. Scholars who work on dry point glosses regularly report uncertainty about what they see. RTI provides an enhanced view that eliminates much of this uncertainty. But where uncertainty remains, it provides visual evidence to ground scholarly debate and encourage discussion about varying interpretations.